All right, guys, so let's talk about the M50 and using it manually, okay? So this is just review. We're gonna take off our lens cap, make sure it gets back on at the end of the, the shooting period. I'm gonna start off with it on the off mode. I'm gonna go to the bottom of the camera, open it up, and I'm gonna make sure that it has an SD card and a battery in it, okay? I am going to go to the top of the camera. I'm gonna to go to the camera mode, and I wanna make sure that the camera is on right there. We want it to change it. We have been using it on auto. Okay, we are going to use it on um, camera. Okay, video camera. And so it's on, and I'm gonna hit choose mode, mode, and I'm gonna make sure that I'm picking manual. Okay, so right away, um, we're gonna get to this menu and you can see some things right off the bat. Here we have our ISO and we can easily change between the ISO or we can go all the way to the left and pick auto. Okay, or I can go all the way to the right and get the very highest and look at how grainy that is. Okay, so that's how we set our ISO. And then I'm gonna hit the arrow to get back. Okay, to change my aperture, I'm gonna to go to F8, O, and the lower number, remember that it's letting in, it's getting bigger, the aperture is getting bigger, letting in more light, versus, and then we're gonna have a shallow depth of field, versus if I go to the, the right, and I get a smaller F-stop, notice that it's darker because it's a smaller hole, it's not letting in as much light, okay? I'm gonna hit back to get out of the aperture, and on the left here we have the shutter speed so um here we have we can notice that it's going to be a lot brighter um because it's not as it's uh for a, a, a longer amount of time one eighth of a second versus if i go over to the right it's now going to one to a hundred 2,500 of a second. And so this is how we can play around with our shutter speed and how much motion blur we want when we're actually recording, okay? All right, so right off the bat, um, I'm also gonna show you where the focus is, okay? So on the M50, if we look at the lens, notice that there's no mode here to switch between autofocus and manual focus. So this is how we manually focus and this is how we zoom. Okay, um, to switch between manual focus and autofocus, it's actually on the back of the camera where it says AF and MF. So if I pick um, AF, it's going to be on manual focus, and then I can take this ring to manually focus, what I'm trying to do here. And if I go back to the button again and I pick it, and it will go on autofocus, okay? Just make sure that you're not touching this ring if it is on autofocus, okay? The other thing I wanted to show you was if you hit Q, we're gonna get to all these different settings, okay? And you can change between the kind of autofocus. Um, we have tracking, we have one point autofocus, or you have like zone, like focus point um, using a single AF point, um, or we have frame to sub to focus on um, subject. So you can switch between the different kinds of autofocus that you uh, want to use depending on are you framing a subject, are you framing a person that you can track their face. Okay, right here too, you can quickly get into: Am I filming the right frames per second, and am I doing it? Um, you know, HD or am I doing it uh, 1080? Uh, so that is also under the quick control. Now, I wanna point out uh, white balance, okay? So I'm gonna go here to white balance, that's right underneath, and it's gonna say what kind of white balance. So notice that we have all those presets we talked about. We could do auto white balance. If we're outside and it's sunny, we can pick sunny. If we're in the shade, if we're in the cloud, if we're in tungsten light, notice how beautiful that looks, you know, compared to this, right? It gets really orange, and now it's um, nice and tungsten uh, with, with this, okay? Um, and then this is fluorescent. Notice that looks really good, too. If I'm using an on-camera flash, or I have two ways to actually do custom, okay? So I can pick K for Kelvin, and then say set color temperature, and then I could use degrees Kelvin to set my degrees customarily and I can go back out here or I can hit the custom white balance and again I'm going to hit info and then this is where you're going to put that white card in front of it and you can use the arrows to go up and down 
to change the white balance. Okay, so those are all the different ways that you can change between white balance and make sure that you actually get white. All right.